All right, uh, now we are going to apply this machinery to derive the equation for the tangent plane to a level surface. Right? So how can we do this? Um, basically, the main idea is, is like this. So if we have um, a level surface, and I'll let me try it. So some kind of a level surface. Um, so F, I, I'm going to just, just give you some intuition first. And so it's, it's given by the equation F of x, y, z equals k, right? So um, that, that, that's our level surface. So if we compute the gradient vector here, which is the gradient, it is going to be perpendicular to this level surface. Right? So um, so my gradient vector is um, fx, fy, fz. Well, at the same time, if we just have some some abstract plane, you know, uh, so imagine that it, this is not a particular tangent plane to our level surface, but just any plane, right? So we, we know that if, if you have any plane uh, that is given by the equation ax plus by plus cz equals d, then the vector abc here, a, b, c, here is the normal vector to the plane. It is perpendicular. Uh, so if we know the normal vector to a plane, then we almost know its equation. So how can we find find C here? So, so, so how can we find D here? So we can find D by just taking uh, any, uh, any point with known coordinates that, that we know. So that if we have, you know, if, if uh, we know coordinates of any one point on our plane, say x0, y0, z0. If we substitute the, these coordinates into the equation, then we can find d. Right? So in other words, uh, what we see here is that if we know the normal direction, so the normal uh, vector to, to a plane, and if we know the coordinates of any point on that plane, then we basically know the entire equation. So at the same time, so notice that the in the equation of a plane, um, the coefficients at x, y, and, and z, they form a normal vector to, to a plane, right? And we know that that normal vector, because of the, the, the previous part of the lecture, it should be fx, fy, fz, right? So it means that, you know, when we form the equation of the tangent plane to a level surface, the coefficients at x, y, and z should be the partial derivatives of uh, f with respect to x, y, and z. So basically it means that, because you know it's just both are the, the, the same thing, so basically it means that uh, our, the equation of our plane should be something like this, f x times x plus f y times y plus f z times z equals some d. And the question is how, how, how to find d. And uh, for this we just have the correct answer so I, I think it's in this case it's easier to to know the to look at the right answer that some people have kind of came came up with and you just can verify it right so the equation of the this tangent plane can be given in this form or we can rewrite it in this form or we can rewrite it in this form so the most kind of explicit form is the last one so notice that in this last form the coefficient at x is indeed the derivative, the partial derivative of f with respect to x. The coefficient at y is the partial derivative of uh, f with respect to y. And the coefficient at z is the partial derivative of f with respect to z. So the coefficients at x, y, and z are the right ones. So they are the entries of the gradient vector. So in order to see that this is indeed the tangent plane, to the level surface we just need to to check that the constant term is correct or equivalently we can check that the point x zero y zero z zero is on our tangent plane so which means that it should satisfy this equation and it does right so if you replace x with x zero y with y zero and z with z zero so if you just do this if you just do this so if you substitute uh, y x0 as x, y0 as y, and z0 
as z, you will get 0 plus 0 plus 0 equals 0, which is correct, right? So which means that the given point x0, y0, z0 is indeed on, on this plane, okay? So we know that one point is on the plane and the coefficients at x, y, and z are as they, they were supposed to be. So they, they represent the correct orthogonal direction. So which means that we got the correct equation. Well, and uh, you, 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 you can also use this to find the uh, equation for a normal line to a level surface. Just the one thing is that um, one equation in three variables, it defines something two dimensional, right? Because you have three variables and one equation, so two degrees of freedom. So you, you get a plane or a surface. So in order to um, specify something one dimensional, like a straight line in the 3D space, you need either two equations or, or you need parametric equations. So in this case, it is a parametric equation. So with one degree of freedom. So the degree of freedom here is represented by T. But the idea is still the same, right? So in order to construct uh, an equation of a straight line. So what you do is you basically uh, align it along a given vector. So this is the given vector, fx, fy, fz. So you know that a given point is on, on your line and the given point is x0, y0, z0. So you know that it is on the line because if t is zero, then you, you will get x0, y0, z0. And the fact that these are coefficients at t mean that this straight line given by this, this equation is parallel to the, this direction. Okay, so this is uh, how we uh, derive normal line to, to a level surface. And here is a specific example. So find the equation of the tangent line and the normal um, at the given point to this ellipsoid. All right, so first of all, let me write down what, uh, so this is basically f of x, y, z, so f of x y z is x square over 4 plus uh, y square plus z square over 9. So to find the equation of the tangent plane and the normal uh, line is uh, to do it, we first begin with uh, finding the gradient vector. So nebula f is the first entry is the derivative of f with respect to x. So it's going to be what x over 2. The second entry is the derivative with respect to y is 2y and the third entry is the derivative with respect to z is 2z over 9. So then nebula f at the given point and the given point is negative 2, 1, negative 3. So now I need to replace x with negative 2, replace y with 1 and replace z with negative 3. So doing this I am going to get um, what negative 1 negative 2, negative 2 thirds, ah, stop, positive 2, okay, there's 2y, if y is, uh, y is 1, then I just get 2, okay, mm -hmm. all right, so this is the gradient vector, now, the components, the three entries, are going to, to, to be the uh, coefficients to derive the equation of the tangent plane, right? So what I should do, I should write the uh, first entry of the gradient vector, minus one times x minus uh, the given point, negative two. x minus negative two is x plus two. Okay, plus, so then I'm looking at two. 2 times y minus, now I'm going to look at the value of y here, so minus 1, uh, plus, okay, we have negative 2 thirds, so let me change it to minus, so this is minus 2 thirds times z, uh, minus, okay, the value of z is negative 3, so minus negative 3 is plus 3 is 0. So this is the equation of the tangent plane. So then I can just simplify it. So minus x minus 1 times 2 is minus 2 plus 2y minus 2 minus 2 thirds 
z minus 2 thirds times 3 so minus 2 is 0 and then I guess I can move everything all the constant terms to the right hand side so I'm going to move minus 2 minus 2 minus 2 is minus 6 I'm going to move them to the right hand side it's going to be 6 all right so I'm going to get minus x plus 2y um, something is wrong um, minus 3 ah yeah of course of course uh, sorry I, I oh no is it correct I know it's correct yeah so um uh, minus two thirds z should be equal to six so that's the answer all right so here is again the answer uh the in, in the printed form so minus x plus two y minus two thirds z equals six all right uh so let me now derive the normal line so again recall that the gradient vector at the given point at the point uh, minus 2 1 minus 3 uh, is found to be um, negative 1 2 negative 2 thirds so it means that the equation of the normal line goes like this x y z first i should insert uh, the coordinates of the given point minus 2 1 minus 3 then um, I should write so these entries of the gradient vector should be coefficients at t so minus t plus 2 t minus 2 thirds t. so and these are basically the uh, the coefficients at t are just um, the partial derivatives of x, y, and z with respect to, well, of f with respect to x, y, and z. Okay, and that's basically um, how we do it. So that's the answer here. Right? Minus 3, minus 2 thirds, t. Minus, yeah, correct. Okay. So that's it for uh, the tangent plane and the normal line.